the other option is the ability to create tags which are often called keywords and these allow you for detailed characterization of an item. You can tag items based on their topics, their methods, their status, ratings or even based on your own workflow for example to read. Now, items can have as many tags as you like and you can filter your library or a specific collection to show items having a specific set of one or more tags. So tags are a great way to add more order to your Zotero library and how do they work? To tag an item we need to select the item in the center Zotero pane and then click in the tags tab in the right hand page and this is where we can add tags uh, to this particular piece of research. So we could give it a broad tag on something such as type of drugs or as I've mentioned earlier we could say this is on our to read. You can rename a tag by just clicking on it and then editing that field. Now once you've added the tag it will appear in the tag selector in the bottom left hand column which is this one just here and I can search for that particular tag and you can see here we have just the one because we've just created that particular tag for this paper to read it appears very clearly there. Uh, we could also add any other one with the same tag by clicking on add and then to read and then this time if we click on the to read tab we have two in there so it's a very effective and clear way for adding more curation to your library. So I would encourage you to experiment with the tags and to build up a workflow that best suits your needs. Now, if you do need to remove a tag from any of your list, you can select the item with the assigned tag and then just click on the minus icon and that will remove the tag from that particular article. Nice and easy.